Hi dear all, welcome you all to Brilliant Group of Institution Doha Qatar. Here we are going to discuss most expecting question for upcoming NEET 2023 examination. Let's start with question number one. Dear all, there is an amine. This amine is a primary, secondary, tertiary or ammonium salt. It's so easy to understand whether the given amine is primary, secondary or tertiary. Dear all, primary amine that mostly contain which one? Primary amine mostly contain that is a NH2 group will be there and it's connected to one carbon. Secondary amine which contain NH on which two carbon and tertiary amine that's contain just what nitrogen. So NH2 if there mostly it will be primary NH secondary N that's what tertiary so you can able to understand this given amine dear all this amine NH2 group is there therefore it is what it's a primary amine and you can able to see that the NH2 group were nitrogen connected to just one carbon so it's a primary amine so primary amine that's contain NH2 secondary amine NH tertiary amine N hope you clear the first question let's go to the question number two dear the correct IUPAC name for this given compound. They're all in this compound. In this compound, you can able to see that this is an alkene part and NH and it's a CH3 group. Can you able to say whether it is primary, secondary or tertiary? It's secondary because it contains NH group. Hope you clear. They're all in this one. Where is the parent chain? Dear all, the parent chain, the NH is the amine is the major functional group and left side is the bigger parent chain. So, 1, 2, 3. Prop is the parent chain and this methyl is a branch. Alright, methyl is a branch. Now, double bond is there, amine is there. As per the priority order of functional group, the, the amine having highest priority. So, N is the most priority. Okay, so number 1, number 2, number 3. So, we selected the parent chain with the most to prior uh, functional group now were nitrogen connected to a methyl branch yes or no so the name of the compound is n methyl n methyl proper right n methyl n methyl proper proper and n methyl prop where is the alkene present second position right to in so n methyl proper to in which is the compound N, what is the answer? N methyl proper to in and one amine. Yes, first position, what we have? A amine also there. So, what is option D at all? Option D. N methyl, N methyl prop to N one amine. Yes, clear all of you? IUPAC nomenclature, so important. Let's go to question number three. The compound having the molecular formula C3H9N, C3H9N can represent which all type of amines whether it is a trimethyl amine yes it can be there are there are three carbon right so it can be ch3 n ch3 ch3 yes it can be a tertiary amine and trimethyl amine yes it can be a N propyl amine. What is propyl amine, dear all? CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. Yes, the formula is matching. It can be propyl amine as a primary. That also possible. What about isopropyl, dear all? You know, isopropyl is this compound. Yes or no? This is the group called the isopropyl group in which if you place one amine, it's called isopropyl amine. Yes, dear all, the formula is matching with this compound also. So C3H9N can represent all of this, right? Option D can be the answer. So all of these such an option if they're very careful. Question number four, a secondary amine is, what is a secondary amine? I told you that contain NH group and it's connected to two carbon. For example, CH3, NH, CH3. So can you able to say which is the correct definition of a secondary amine? A compound with a two NH2 group, is it correct? No. A compound with a two carbon atoms and a NH2 group. No, NH2 group if there, it's primary. A compound with a NH2 group? No. A compound in which two of the hydrogens of NH3 have removed? Yes. And replaced by two alkyl group? Yes, dear all. Option D is correct, right? Now, question number five. The best method for preparing primary amine from alkyl halide without changing the number of carbon atom in the chain is which one? Hoffman reaction, we can't take it because there is a less in one carbon, right? 
देर आर बेस्ट मेथड फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग प्राइमरी अमीन फ्रॉम इट्स एल्केल हैलाइड व्हाट इज देयर गब्रियल थैलीमाइड सिंथेसिस यू नो गब्रियल थैलीमाइड सिंथेसिस वी स्टार्ट विद द थैलीमाइड एंड वी विल ऐड अल्कोहोलिक केओएच देन एल्केल हैलाइड यू विल गेट अ प्राइमरी अमीन यू विल गेट अ एलिफैटिक प्राइमरी अमीन विदाउट चेंज इन नंबर ऑफ कार्बन देयर ऑल सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 आंसर इज व्हिच वन ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 Gabriel thalamide reaction is used in the preparation of dear all you know in gabriel thalamide synthesis we will start with which one thalamide right this is what called thalamide nh thalamide first step we will add which one alcoholic koh then what happen this potassium replace this hydrogen you will get potassium salt of which one thalamide as yes or no potassium salt of which one thalamide you will get it into this step we will add which one alkyl halide which one rx so what happen this r k that will interchange so kx will eliminate you will get r group here and finally when treated with naoh we will get finally we will get rnh2 so dear all you know gabriel thalamide synthesis is used to prepare primary aliphatic amines dear all primary aliphatic amine without change in number of carbon in the alkyl group and al halo alkane why aromatic i mean we can't prepare through this one we know very well we know very well if you want a aromatic ring we have to use here instead of alkyl halide we have to use which one dear all aryl halide but you know because of the partial double bond character and more s character on this carbon removal of halogen is difficult so halo arene we can't add here right so halo alkane only we can add we will get a primary aliphatic i mean careful dear all so gabriel thalamide synthesis is used to prepare primary aliphatic amines not aromatic amines option c next one when acetamide what is acetamide ethanamide what is ethanamide here all ch3 co nh2 when ethanamide is treated with bromine with what with what caustic soda what is caustic soda naoh hope you get which is the reaction it's called hoffman bromamide degradation reaction amide with a bromine and base naoh what happened when you heat the system dear all from the amide just to remove the co group the amine is ready the product is what ch3 nh2 what is the amine dear all methanamine what is methanamine methanamine or methyl amine that is the answer of option c so in hoffman bromamide degradation reaction you know for if you are starting with an amide it the product is an amine with one carbon less question number 8 in this reaction what is the reaction dear all conh2 is there what is conh2 an amide right conh2 an amide you know amide on reduction you will get amine yes but the question is this one what is the change in hybridization of carbon dear all you know a single bonded carbons are sp3 hybridized a double bonded carbon is what sp2 hybridized a triple bonded carbon is sp hybridized and if the double carbon connected to two double bond that's also sp hybridized right so dear all this carbon having one double bond therefore it is sp2 this carbon is full single bond connected one therefore it is sp3 so the hybridization changing from sp2 to sp3 sp2 to sp3 option c is the answer next question dear all question number 9 amines are basic in character why you know amines are derivatives of which one ammonia for example this is primary amine they can nitrogen having a lone pair lone pair if it can donate yes according to the acid base concept which one lewis concept lone pair donors are or electron pair donors are what lewis base amines are bases lewis bases because they can donate a lone pair so what is the answer dear all amines are basic in nature because a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom that can donate question number 10 which is most basic in nature benzyl amine what is benzyl amine this is called what dear all benzyl amine and what is aniline aniline is benzene with nh2 and acetamide is what acetamide is nothing but ethanamide and ortho methyl aniline what is ortho methyl aniline ortho methyl ortho methyl aniline right ortho methyl aniline these are the one 
orthomethyl aniline right so is orthomethyl aniline these are the four compound among this which is most basic one dear all now dear all we can cut this two option because they are aromatic amine where nitrogen on which lone pairs are there you know they are involved in resonance so the lone pair is not available for donation as a lewis base so these are not base or least basic aromatic amines are least basic is it aromatic no dear all because the nitrogen not on benzene ring it's on an alkyl group so it is like an aliphatic one but phenyl ring is there but in this case you can able to see that there is an amide right they are all amide in which the lone pair amide in which the lone pair it is involved in what resonance so here also it is least basic here resonance direct resonance is not possible right because nitrogen is not on the benzene ring so it can donate the lone pair so which is most basic among this one that is option a benzyl amines brilliant kata your trusted coaching partner for iit je neat science and commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training brilliant kata